Hey, 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 Closet Busters. Yes, Closet Busters and Bold Move Makers, and especially the men, my male listeners. Now, that doesn't mean you ladies can't listen to this one, but I'm going to have to say this one is for the guys. This is all about something that's been rattling around in my head, something I'm starting to do some work in around making bold moves and being more truly who you are as a man, man, I mean, it should say, um, it's about men and masculinity in a Me Too world. Trust me, I am the biggest supporter of women's rights. Well, not the biggest, but I'm playing right up there because I believe in it 100%. I believe that much of what women are going through, have gone through for the ages, needs to stop. And here's what's wrong with what's going on as far as I'm concerned, is this is never gonna stop, it's never gonna change, because men don't talk to each other. They literally do not talk. Okay, they do. They talk at each other. They grab their balls. They, you know, pat each other on the back. They fist bump, all this good stuff. Nothing wrong with any of that stuff. But they don't really talk. And I find it so interesting that men don't do this because if men started talking and they started expressing themselves, then we could really get some stuff done. But this big M word gets in the way. This M word called masculinity. And then as soon as we start going, well, this is what I'm supposed to do as a masculine man. We don't have room to grow. We don't have room to accept others. We don't have room to make room for women to be who they are. So let me ask you this, guys. These are some questions I want you to think about as you think about yourself and how you'd like to show up in a Me Too world. What does it really mean for you to be a man? Why do you believe that's what it means for you to be a man? Who taught you that's what it means to be a man? And if that thought persists, how does that contribute to you being a better man in this world and having impact to make the world a better place? What does it do for the greater good of the planet? Because you see, here's the thing. Just because you got something, Just because you got a pair of balls or a penis or you have masculine physique or because men have always ruled the world, this does not mean, it does not mean you earn the right to anything. Not one thing. Because the only way you earn a right is to work for it. And even if you work for it, that doesn't give you the right to demean women, to make them your possessions. To make other guys your possessions. For crying out, I'm a gay man and I've had other men demean me and think I'm their possession because, quote, unquote, I'm weaker. Oh, really? Just because I don't want to fight? Maybe just because I don't want to, like, get out there and do sports all the time? Maybe because I don't want to work on a car? Well, screw you. (laughs) Yeah, screw you. I am as man as they come and I think like a guy and sometimes I even think like a woman. Yes. I have that softer side to me. But just because you think you have something doesn't mean that you've earned it. And so to me, it's time for men to say me too. Not just me too for the women, but me too. Yes, I am tired of being the kind of guy that all these other guys think I should be. It's time to own it. Find your own little entry points to where you're marginalizing women or other men, or for that matter, marginalizing other humans, and dump the masculine bullshit bravado and realize you're just making excuses. Now, those excuses may seem valid, but most of them are invalid. Because you see, when you make excuses for why you act the way you do as a man, it's because you're afraid. You're afraid if you don't do these things, you're going to look like a fool, that somebody's going to make fun of you, that maybe you might make the wrong choice, and that, oh, I might have to take on even more responsibility to show up in the world in a different way. Well, guess what, brother? We all have one thing to do on this planet, and that's to show up the way we want to show up. Now, that doesn't mean you can't show up as an asshole. Sure you can. It doesn't mean you can't show up as a misogynistic son of a bitch. Sure you can. But the thing is, is think about how you truly, truly at your heart want to show up. Now, I know for some that 
actually probably nobody who's listening to this, that's going to fall on deaf ears. But I'm going to invite you to ask where might that fall on your own abilities to show up? Where's the deaf ears? Because we all have them. I know I have them. There's things I've done as a man, as a father, as a gay man, especially to people in my own community where I judge them because they're, quote, less than. And I'm not proud of that. And so I'm saying, me too. Me too, I need to eat some of my own dog food that I'm talking about here. I need to release some of my masculine bravado that keeps me from being fully embracing of my fellow man, my fellow woman. But to realize for everything that I hold so true to support women, I need to do the same to help support mankind. Doesn't diminish the Me Too movement, doesn't say it's not any less important because when in history, when in history has there ever been a time where women weren't marginalized? I know we're just living in present time right now. It's 2018, but we've all done enough of our own work to look through the history books and everything. And I want you to ask the question, why is Me Too any more important now than back 100, 200, 300 years ago? It isn't. It's just that now women are once again saying, this has got to change. And this time, I hope it truly does. Because we need to stop living in a world, living in a place where Me Too has to exist. It's no different than having to live in a world where people have to come out of the closet because of their sexuality. It is time for all of us to find the Me Too power within us and to support the Me Too movement and to stand in our own power and say, and me too, here's what I need to do. Me too, I need to stop being a man who does certain things. Me too, I have to need to stop being a man that marginalizes other men. Because as we start to come together as men, we can lift. We can lift the tide of support and show that women are as equal as we are. They have every rights that we should have. And then that just begins to filter down to all the other things, everything from racism to sexuality, all those other things. But this is about the Me Too movement and standing in your power as a man and realizing, quit being a hypocrite and start standing in your power. Because even if you look like a fool and even if you make a few wrong choices and even if you lose some friendships over this, this is all about you taking responsibility. Making a big, bold move and uncloseting yourself to say, this is how I want to show up as a man. Plain and simple. So I know I got on my soapbox, guys, but I just feel so passionate about this. Because we as men have the same opportunities to be vulnerable, to be compassionate, to be raw, to be honest. And the more that that comes forward and we start to bring those pieces of ourselves to the world, I honestly believe, the world will be a better place because we, as men, are saying, me too. I want to step into a more powerful place of being a masculine man that contributes to the world rather than tears it apart. And I'm going to leave you right there with that. Have a great week, and we'll be back real soon with another episode of Life Uncloseted. Oh,